All right, we're back for another video review Saturday. It's been a few weeks since I put a new one up on the site, so I thought I'd go ahead and find something to look at and review for everyone. So I thought I'd take a look at the Friday the 13th Part 3 LP album that was released back in 1982. And this is um, what I got on display. I put it in a uh, frame. And uh, this was released by um, it was Grandma Vision. Um, and it basically has three or two tracks, or three, I think it's three tracks on it. Um, what, and if you talk to Harry Manfredini, he'll tell you that he basically recorded all of the Friday the 13th music for the original four films at one time, and then they were all used systematically throughout the first four films. Now, I have to disagree with that because there is a good portion of new music that's used for the final chapter that is not on this album at all. And so I I think that, you know, he, he made some new music specifically for that film, either in post-production or maybe it's music that just wasn't included on this album. So, um, But the cover itself uh, is actually in 3D. Now, I don't have the original glasses that came with the album, but I do have these glasses, and these were released with the 3D poster, which was also used to promote the film when it came out, and these work just as, just as good as the other ones. I think the, the glasses that came with the album were a plain white uh, cardboard set of glasses, but these are actually much cooler because they actually show, you know, they... It's got Jason there. They have it that's in 3D. But yeah, if you put these on and then you look at this, it's all, the glass all kind of comes out at you. It's actually a pretty cool effect and it works really well. Um, and then I, I just have, I think I've done a review on these before, but I'm not going to take these out of the, my plastic case now. It's just kind of a pain. But these are the original theatrical, um, or the, gla the original glasses used for the theatrical release could tell that the lenses at the bottom there aren't red or blue they're the polarized lenses so um uh, but yeah um this album was also then released in i believe france on cd in 1988 i believe it's france i could be wrong um but yeah same tracks were released in france in 1988 and i actually have that cd um, as well, which is how I was able to get all the audio tracks off of that um, for this disc. But um, that's about it uh, for today. Let's kind of get a little closer here. It says Friday the 13th original motion picture soundtrack, composed and conducted by Harry Manfredini. And uh, if I didn't have the, uh, the album in a, in a display frame, I would uh, take it out and show you the back. Um, the back, if I remember correctly, is a lot like the front. It's just blown up a little bit more. It takes up the whole, the uh, the whole sleeve. So that's it, guys. That's uh, the small, short, short version of the uh, Friday the Thirteenth Part Three LP uh, released in 1982. If you guys, have any questions? Let me know, and we'll talk to you later.